What's up? Roger at you coming at you again. Bit of a cool day today, so got the old hat flipped up. Uh, today we're back on the 2011 Hyundai Elantra. And I messed up on the first video on this car, guys. Uh, upon reviewing the video, I realized that whenever I pulled the coil from cylinder number three, the coil itself had oil on it before I pulled the spark plug. Now granted, coils one and two were completely dry, and by eyeballing it without a flashlight, I could not see any oil down around the spark plug. But, since I was so concerned about cylinders one and two, I really didn't pay attention to cylinder number three, and upon review of that video, um, we're going to investigate a little bit further before we make any drastic decisions with this car. So what, today what we're going to do is we are going to take, let me make sure yours even go all the way out. Yeah, okay. We're going to take that valve cover off and we're going to see the plugs are back in the hose. Um, the quills are out. Here is the quill for number three. And as you can see, there is oil on that coil. Uh, cylinder number one, it's, it's, I mean, other than a little bit of moisture, it's dry. Cylinder number two, eh, it's got a little bit on it. I don't know if I might have dripped a little bit off the plug or not but we're going to find out we're going to take this valve cover off and we're going to see if there is any telltale signs that this is just merely a simple leaky valve cover gasket yeah we're going to pull this out it looks like this is broke so we'll just move that out and we'll see about unplugging this back here We'll move that out of our way. And our quill wires are already out of our way here. And we need to come over here and we've got two sensors right here. We gotta move out of our way. And this is just gonna be a Quick job today, fellas, so hand tools it is. Pop the bolt on this other cylinder sensor over here. Probably should have pulled that hose first to get it out of my way, but that's okay. We're already in here now. Okay, there's the bolt on that one. And uh, let's go ahead and pull that hose out of the way. These just have little these little simple pressure clamps on them. And all they do is just put a little bit of pressure on the hose to where it doesn't slide itself off. And now we can pull these up out of the way. And these are just cam positioning sensors is what they are. It's double, double overhead cams so we got those up now I do believe all we have to do is pull our valve cover bolts out yep got everything else out of our way 
put my extension back on for these outer bolts. I probably should have brought the cordless down here, but uh, well, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. We're gonna try to keep all of our boats separate. Well, fellas, that's not a good sign right there because that boat was just as loose as loose could be. I mean, well, you know, it's not a good sign that it was loose loose, but you know, in our case, it's probably a good sign because that is leading us to believe yeah, this one's tight. That is leading us to believe that we may just have a blown valve cover gasket. And that's a whole lot of it easier fix than changing the engine out. Which is uh, going to be probably our next step if this isn't the problem. Um, if this isn't the problem, we may go ahead and pull the head on this. Uh, see if it may just be a blown head gasket, maybe a cracked head. But uh, I don't think it's going to be head gasket, cracked head. There is absolutely no signs of that being the case. Although you can have that without having signs, which is why we may go ahead and pull that head. But that won't be today. We'll wait for a little bit warmer day for that if this doesn't end up being our problem. So far guys, we've only had one loose bolt and it was between cylinders three and four and not one and two where we were having a misfire. But yeah, it's kind of a cool, dreary day today, so today our only job is going to be to pull this valve cover, see if we have any telltale signs that this is our problem. With any luck, this is going to be our problem. But yeah guys, we got bolts all the way around the outer perimeter of this. And uh, it's like two or three bolts across the center of it. have to pull our dipstick but we're going to do that last so it'll lessen our chances of getting any contaminants down in the dipstick tube here on the back is just uh, breaking the bolts loose and then I'm dropping the socket off of the ratchet and then going across and spinning them out 
it's a little bit quicker to do it that way when you're using manual tools and no power and you don't have a uh, extension extension to just grab one two to spin which I have an extension it just won't fit back in here because I didn't bring a short extension with me just a long one the short extension would fit in here but it would be pretty crowded pretty tight And if you do end up having to pull the head on this, these engines, guys, make sure you get new bolts. You don't want to use your old bolts because your old bolts, they've already been used. They've been stretched. And since they've been stretched from being used once, they will not torque properly. And yes, it looks like our dipstick is still bone dry. Which I pulled this earlier and there was just a touch of oil on the tip. But that was probably just from the last time it was ran. Slung it up on there. And none to my surprise, I didn't bring a screwdriver with me. Uh, okay, we will accommodate for that. And just simply put it under, just twist it up. And it is up. Let's move this over out of our way and um wow boys that's not good mm -hmm. that is not good hmm wonder who worked on this last okay uh let me see here Oh, what I'm talking about, guys, not good. This holy freaking mess right here, that's, that's, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it feels like melted plastic. Uh, but let me see if I can situate this gasket the way it's supposed to be here. And uh, see. Yeah, that's not, it's not kosher. Uh, okay, the way that's laying out there. It was probably laid right. Um, Probably laid right in the valve cover. But that, uh, yeah, that one bolt gasket there, fellas, it's just not looking good. Yeah, see here. As you can see, it's, uh, it's all meshed up in there pretty bad. That's not good. And let me investigate this valve cover here real quick. Uh, it looks like, fellas, that we may have had an oil leak back here in this area um, also over here in this area and poss 
possibly a few smaller leaks in the front. And these plug tube gaskets, I don't think they were sealing good. Yeah. Yeah, we had oil right there that we shouldn't have had. Uh, not very light coating there. We got something. Looks like it's been leaking in right there. That's probably why our number three was wet. And you know, I'm seeing a light coating on these, which they will have a light coating around the shiny area. But I'm not really seeing anything that looks heavy, no streaking. Let me check our yeah, air timing looks good. Fellas, I'm going to say that we have probably had oil leaking out of here. There is some heavy oil sitting right there in the number one. And number three, number two's got a tiny bit, but not anything abnormal. Number one and number three's got some heavy oil sitting in it. Well, there's nothing that I see that is real obvious. And it was reported that this was supposed to have had a couple quarts put in it to bring it up to full a couple of days before it went into limp mode. And it is uh, below the dipstick now so that tells me that there's had to have been at least two quarts go through this in a couple of days and from what I am seeing if that had went into the spark plug tubes it would have had to have had come out here somewhere Um, I mean it is a little damp up here but it's not wet it's not wet damp so this right here bothers me though I wonder why this is this way because that is hard like plastic if that is that gasket why is it like melted into a plastic the other one is, is the way it should be Just wondering because this does look like an aftermarket gasket here. Just wondering.
Um, and this is the other part of that gasket there. It was in there like this, you flip it up like this. I mean, it looks like that this was mangled because of whatever that was on that. And it looks like this has been taken apart before because like I said, this looks like a new gasket along with these but our spark plug tubes these seals are original seals they have not been replaced if they were then they weren't replaced with a kit that that would have come in because they normally have the same collar seal so before I go any further on this I I'm going to see about obtaining. We're going to set this up here, back in here for now, and try to keep some of the crap out of here. We'll put our dipstick back in the dipstick tube. And for now, we will. Set our quills back into their appropriate homes. Try to keep as much stuff out of that engine as we can, even if it is too far gone to save. Um, but at this point, guys, my next step is to see if I can obtain some service records on this vehicle. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious at least the intake has been taken off of it before. So, if it was done in a professional setting, there will be some maintenance records on this somewhere. And I will see if I can obtain those records and see exactly what was done, how far into the engine they went. Um, if they had the head off, then we can probably expect to see the same thing that we saw right here, and that may be the issue. Uh, that may be, turn you around this way so you can see me a little better, but that may be the entire problem is if they went further than just a valve cover, there is probably something else in there that they did not fully get the gasket off of, which would have mangled the other gasket, like the one we saw in the valve cover. And that could be the entire issue with this engine. So, I will look and see if I can obtain some service records on this vehicle and I'll bring you another video once we've accomplished that and um, until then I'll see you next time and thank you for watching <laughs>